So I have a couple of orders I want to shell out today. Um, I do want to show you how I set up. Um, if it's shipping, it goes in that box. If it is um, local pickup, it'll go in um, the local pickup bins that I do have so I know that they're coming to grab it or I have to put it in the shipping section. Um, these are just last minute orders I took outside of um, my standard normal. I book only a certain amount because I pride myself on turnaround time and quality. I don't overbook. Um, if you overbook, yes, you get a ton of money, but you compromise on your quality trying to rush them out and you also compromise on uh, your turnaround time. So again, I just book enough to get me through and then I take my time doing them and make sure they are perfect before I hand them out. All right, in today's video, we're gonna press double-sided Mickey shirts, standard mom of the birthday boy, yada, yada. Some people are asking me how I do front and back, so I'm gonna show you. Um, I don't really have cameras set up where it'll go through the entire process of my lab but at least I can um, try to get it as close as I can to the press. All right, let me go grab my shirts. All right, so let me just walk over here, I guess. All right. In the box, I have the order with the invoice either due or paid. I uh, never print the total due. Uh, I never start an order until it's paid, but this customer had paid um, seconds of me printing it just so I could, you know, pull the shirts and know that I have the right uh, inventory and stuff. I have all sizes and colors in the bag. The order has which shirt to size to title. Um, I've also pre-cut all the designs and weeded them so that way all i have to do is cut and press now um or i mean press i do have to cut out the pieces that are you know still in one sheet um but you can do that with me and we'll go from there so the first shirt is going to be let's take a pull brother of the birthday boy all right on my list it says brother of the birthday boy is sean and isaiah youth large and medium red all right so we're going to do the youth large the press is at 350 uh honestly i let it heat up to sublimation temperatures all the time and uh because i do both sublimation and vinyl and um it's easier to just get it to stay heated so i utilize my press to to kind of get it in the middle um i've done this enough times where i can actually see it and know that it is in the middle all right brother of the birthday boy we are going to measure two to three fingers from the collar i use two when it comes or three when it comes to children in the smaller shirts down i put it down i also take my ruler and from the last letter I measure, from the first letter I measure. Perfect. All right, so that is perfect. Um, I guess I could possibly do the We're gonna press this for ten or five seconds since the press is super hot. I don't um, 
protect it with anything when it comes to the first press, but sheets and it's at 365 guys, so I'm only giving it a couple seconds for right now. One second guys, I gotta grab my scissors. Hey guys, sorry I had to pause the video and cut everything into pieces because I forgot they're different sizes. So for longevity of the video or shortness of the video, I went ahead and cut it. Now this is a double piece. The yellow has to go before the red. So if you take notes, I am putting it behind the red, but you're not pressing these together. You're utilizing the red to better align where the yellow should be. One second. This is usually a lot faster than. Guys, you do want to pay attention um, to color because of or to you know how it's supposed to be layered. Uh, it makes a difference on the finished product. My press got really hot, 400 degrees, so I'm just pressing it a couple of seconds to get all the pieces on there with the press off. a couple of seconds like I said to get the pieces on and then I'm going to do a full press because I'm going to show you why transfer sheet all right all right so i give it a final press because you can't see but there are lines of the carrier sheet um from overlapping it on the black so i take the sheet and then i give it um a full 15 seconds i'm doing it with my press off because um it is 400 degrees and the temperature should be less than that. All right, guys, when you get it off the press, give it a pop to um, stretch the fibers. So when they go stretching it, it doesn't rip, shred. I like to pull it significantly on children's. There you have it. Here's one. next oh totally forgot see the back guys so what i do is i let the heat let it cool down for a second turn it over this one is a large so it says on my list isaiah is the large brother let me find isaiah's name I usually just let the uh, back, the front collar tell me where it's going in the back. So I literally just put it right underneath um, the, the front collar that peeks through the back. 
um, you can utilize a pillow and uh, avoid having those um, the collar pop through and then so that way you don't have to worry about um, placements but I use that to get a constant placement on it. Alright, let me check the press. Perfect. 320 should be okay. Five seconds. That was more like seven seconds. And you hot feel. Once again, same thing. Pop the garment. Ensure that it gets into the fibers. And voila! On to the next one. Sean is the other brother. Youth medium. You guys are wondering, I have a 16 by 20 heat press. I bought it at Pro World. Now, here's a trick. Since I know that um, this has to go Wow, guys. Okay. This is what I'm doing. I am in placing it on the top. Then I am placing it One second. guys make sure that obviously the piece you're using the carrier sheet is not overlapping to the other color if you're going to do it this way um, it has happened to me where I forgot to pay attention to the um, yeah we're just going to double press it. So you see, and then I took it off. But it's still overlapping a little, so I'm just going to take it off and do a little double the work instead. Uh, it'll secure it for me rather than um, me sitting here trying to align it. It's easier to align when there's one piece. All right, guys, I'm all over the place. I have not had my caffeine. I'm actually trying to slow down on the bangs. I'm having two and a half to three bangs a day. For those who don't know what a bang is and know what um, a, a Red Bull is, one bang is equal to three Red Bulls or more. A little more than three Red Bulls. So I have three bangs a day. I'm trying to slow that down. I have sand somehow on the sheet. Usually, again, the first press, I don't have it on there, but the press is pretty hot. One, two, three, four, five. You don't want to melt the vinyl. So um, if you're layering, a rule of thumb is a couple of seconds because there is shrinkage that occurs um, 
when you're doing it. So if you let it press the full time, your pieces are not going to align unless you um, press it seconds by seconds. And remember, if the shirt is also too hot, while you're trying to align, um, everything will stick. Okay. Make sure. Perfect. I like to double make sure. I'm OCD. Anxious. One second. seconds should be the total time the shirt gets um, on a standard just one layer type vinyl now some of y'all are wondering that red box that's just extra it's because it's hot it'll go away when it cools down but if you want to avoid that um, altogether then I would just lower the heat like I said I have to sublimate some shirts too so this press takes forever to get to 400 degrees while making it an oven in here. All right. And the youth name is Sean. We have Sean. I didn't cut it. Cut this one. Same thing, here is the collar, which is exactly two fingers from the top. And I'm going to place right in the middle. Perfect. And press. I push the collar off the press as much as I can. is at 350 again so I'm only going to give this about 8 seconds if you overheat it the vinyl will bubble once again don't forget to pull while it's hot get those in the fibers and shirt number 2 we're going to do mom and she's an extra large. pieces of vinyl guys sorry for the delay um, I'm working on a few orders so I am sitting here changing the machines as well to these little pieces that are starting to come out. Perfect. 
Mom of the birthday boy, let's do it. Again, five seconds. It'll shrink and then the bottom piece will not align. Do not let your carrier sheet touch the floor. With the mom, there's a bow that goes on the O. So I'll place that with this. And then the longest part about this is getting my perfection into state. Okay, I'm a perfectionist. I tell you what. It eats me. Right? We got the bow. We got the uh, pant. I need a couple of seconds. Pull this. And pull this. little pieces of vinyl that if they're still hot you can remove off of the shirt by um, swiping it off. There's definitely another way of doing this, but you can add all the pieces onto one page. I just um, refuse to do so. With this one, it's a prime example of a little shrinkage. Nothing um, that's going to make the shirt look out of whack but I could tell the customer wouldn't be able to but me I can all right and the mom's name don't forget to do the pop guys this is not mandatory at the bottom I was working on an all-over print for sublimation and I didn't put a protective sheet at the bottom and I ended up getting ink at the bottom and to replace this sheet is more expensive than to just take one of these that I had a million of so I'm okay extra large I like to center it collar three three down so we're gucci the name is crystal Right. My anxiety is done. Mind you guys, this is taking on a lot longer than it should. A lot longer than it should because um, just double making sure no caffeine in my system today. So I'm running on a couple of hours of sleep. 
Uh, I had a late night yesterday taking last minute orders. All right, 2XL is the dad. Um, guys, I do do the tear away, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you what I do and why. All right, we're not. All right, I utilize all my resources to ensure it's straight. Dad of the birthday boy, because this is a 3XL, I do use three fingers. Or 2XL, sorry. Alright. Ball rolling. Alright guys, so, so far it's been 20 minutes. Mind you, I have um, stopped to cut, stopped to uh, change the to change the plotter so you know factor that in I hate when this gets stuck on my foot all right same scenario I honestly while um, the press was doing its thing getting hot I probably could have put this all in one page but again, the time that it takes to do that, you know, it's time that it takes. All right. Guys, again, avoid shrinkage. If these little dots shrink too much, You'll be able to see um, white, so make sure you don't pull the shirt, that you don't shrink. I'm trying to get out all the uh, kinks at once. I don't give it a full press because again I'm doing the back the press is hot so you're still going to I like to stretch the 3x large before I do the back and then repress to get into the fibers If you're asking what size I use for the 2XL, I made the design going across 12 and a half. Adult large for the birthday boy.
Sorry guys, I visualize where it goes. So we're going to end up turning off the press here for a minute. I have to hold it because if I don't hold it, it don't press. Same scenario. Snug tug, bug rug. And lastly, the birthday boy is Jaden. Love the name. in the center, push the collar up. Turn the press on because I have to do some sublimation as well. Pop the garment, and we're good. All right, guys, so I finished order 1802. Uh, what I do now is I have my son and husband. My son will check sizes to name and color to ensure um, that it's good to go. My husband will go behind my son and ensure. So we've triple checked sizes to names and titles to ensure correct so when your package leaves we know um you've got the right size the right uh name i've had one time where when i was training my son he didn't um but i picked it up uh before uh putting it in the box so again things happen you're busy you're moving along so this is going to move on to the triple check process it was already done so with that being said what I like to do for pickups is uh, cut out the billing, the billing detail, and um, put the invoice on there. Uh, there's no credit card or anything or none of that nature on there, but since I printed total due, um,
doesn't show paid. So, and then we just place that on top. When I go to the order and hit finalize, the customer will get a text message that their order is ready or an email depending on how they sign up. They have to choose email or text. So it's one or the other. All right, guys, and that was done. 30 minutes, five shirts. Um, do the math. 